Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning back in. It yo, is... Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Um, what is it? July 12th? I just this realized from left field. this <laughs> not even I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. That's why I started before I was ready. But um, I realized that I didn't do good gal of the week last week. But I mean, it's July. So the whole month I'm good gal. Forget y'all. <laughs> OK, then. but um, that just goes to say I didn't find somebody else to do good gal of the week for. Um, but yeah, you know, if y'all find somebody out there where are, are, are doing the things and you feel are deserving oh, or just big up the gal them who are you know? non-stop being good <laughs> for sure um goods. shout out to the people who were at carnival over the past oh yeah week or yeah. weeks <laughs> Tell that costume, man. Look up. Jump mm-hmm. up yes um shout out to y'all i'm hating from outside the club um <laughs> not that i couldn't get club. inside the club i just chose not to attend the club because you know not the time, not the time. Honestly. <laughs> um, now, this is going to be completely left field. Today, you know how Google always has, like, those cute little animations and, like, images or whatever when you click on the, um, when you actually go to Google.com and you see, mm-hmm. like, the name? So today I looked and I saw, like, of course, the honeycomb, and it grabbed my attention. I was like, what is this honeycomb shit? What is this? So I clicked on it, and apparently today the reveal of like the newest images of space um were like released or whatever to the public and i was like what so there's a new telescope (laughs) yes nerd alert indeed because i geeked the hell out because what it's space but um they what is it let me see let me read from the actual thing um it's called the james webb telescope and it's basically like it, the image is legit like a honeycomb and there's like uh, I don't know if any of y'all know what a large format camera looks like Not but them, them throwback cameras with like the um, according looking thing it looks kind of like that in a honeycomb put together on like a kite mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a lot going on but it's like these pictures though like some would say it was photoshopped <laughs> But apparently it was it took about a month for it to go in orbit, like in full orbit and capture mm-hmm. whatever it's capturing. And I'm just really excited about that because I'm a nerd. I like space. And at one point in my life, I really thought I was going to be an astronaut. So, you know, no, man. <laughs> so that's well, what's up. You could still be an astronaut if you really want to. Fern. I really could. But it's, you know, one of those things that like it sounds good, but I'm good off that. Uh, (laughs) but yeah so apparently it operates in a halo orbit circling around a point in space known as the sun minus earth l to the second degree whatever anyways let me not start with that approximately 1000 actually no 1 million 500 thousand kilometers beyond earth's orbit around the sun that's the actual equation that's where it comes out to and they decide to release new photos um yeah like, so like it finished a new, cu- a new color or something yeah basically it finished orbit um january 24th of this year okay. so i guess they went through it and whatever there was a dying was it a dying star yeah there's a mm. dying star there's an image of a dying star that it captured um during this orbit and you know folks are excited i think obama even tweeted about it and i was like oh look at you because of course i like dove into it when i saw it online i was like what so does this bring us closer to like xenon type shit or what's going i on? mean they said that there's signs of clouds and water out there um i'm guessing they're still going over it but i would definitely like to believe that we are definitely you know tapping into our xenon girl of the our 21st xenon, century <laughs> you know, you know. our zoom 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 you know yes, I'm pro but <laughs> crazy i love that show but yeah so that's what's happening currently in outer space and nasa whatever the hell else going on on earth monkey pot jesus do we have to talk about this raggedy shit (laughs) 
yes, monkeypox apparently is going on in in life. Um, did you hear about the Black Wall Street chamber president being found dead in her home? Sorry, trigger warning. No? No, I don't recall. Okay. Um, this is a couple of days ago, and then like her husband was found dead recently also. Some may call it a coincidence. No. Wait, when did she... Let me go find the actual date when she died. That was like but... some months ago or something? Because the article, I think so, but I just saw, um, you know, what was it? Like, Media? I you like now. Cause... I think her husband um, is the one that passed away recently. Oh. Yeah. So I'm trying to see what exactly. No, girl, not that. Where's my Googles? I was just on the Googles. Oh, my God. <laughs> but what happened? Like, they got killed or they're trying to say... Um, that's what the people are... That's know. what the people are trying to say. Um, Who the hell are the people? Because I don't be hearing about none of this shit. See, that that just lets me know I'm following the wrong people on social media. <laughs> yeah, I don't be trying to... No, like... Okay, so... There be too much going on already. I think that's what it is for me. And I don't be trying to pick up no more. Okay, so this was last week, Wednesday. I said okay. it was five days ago. Okay, um, Sherry Yvonne Smith is her name. She's the Black Wall Street Chamber president. And she was found outside Tulsa, Oklahoma. Huh. And let me see something where her, when her husband um, died. Because these folks, you know, they like to... Wait there. Was cr- her husband was critically injured Wednesday morning, that same Wednesday morning, and then he died later at the hospital. Interesting. On the same day, the two of them. Huh. Oh boy. Here go unsolved mysteries. Oh man, <laughs> don't do me. <laughs> okay now i understand why the people them are saying what they're saying okay um they're saying that even the police reports and everything just sounded like it didn't make no sense so there's definitely yeah so there's definitely some sort of conspiracy theory going on love it so let's just see what unfolds with that um black what Yes, both of them are black. Well, I would hope so. They're chamber president of the oh, Black I Wall Street. Said, I would yeah, hope so. Yeah, you <laughs> said Black Wall Street. I completely said that. Yeah, you I would hope so. But I mean, the I way things listen, the way things be happening, I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if some no, white yeah, folks are sprinkled in. Yeah, huh. Really. Really. Uh, um, okay, so remember how we talked the other day about um, how I don't see no white folks over here? I need to stop talking. That's what you get. Now you got one that popped up. Two, That's what you get. two different people. I'm so That's pissed. Yeah, he was talking all that shit. <laughs> I'm so pissed because I think it was over the weekend. I saw one guy getting out of a car at the building next door, and I was like, "Is he delivering of an Uber? Like, what is he no. doing?" And then like a child came out the car, and I was like, "Oh hell no!" I was like, "They let the whites come live over here?" I was like, "Oh no." So I was like, okay, whatever. Let me leave little white folks alone. That's and then this evening, insane. I come home from work, and this man come out with him tree, look a unwashed picnic in my building of all buildings. I was like, wow, I need to stop fucking talking because two of them just saw. Just but you knew this, but you knew this already. Where's the money? Shit. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> That be the one. <laughs> <laughs> like everything I say wanna come true. Where the money true, there? Where is the money? <laughs> Listen, I yeah, all the time, bro. I'm like, wow. Yeah, fucking butter. Every day Mr. Maga Rich enough. Where the money there? Listen, <laughs> because... I feel what you said with my chest. <laughs> my whole chest. <laughs> like, I don't have time for this. Like, I'll be talking about all type of fuckery and the fuckery I'm just Listen, you know, bloops, bloops, stupid shit. This gonna happen. Boop, it happens. Where the chameleons there? 
Listen, give me a couple hundred thousand. I'm not even one a million. Give me a couple hundred oh, okay. thousand. Okay, no, the Lord said ask for what you want. Okay, so I mean, uh, couple hundred, million. couple yeah. hundred, couple hundred thousand right now can do me good enough. Hundred thousand ain't gonna do much in this economy right now. Not what I'm trying to do, Mister. For right now, no, for right I, now. I need to build yeah. a doomsday something right now. Oh, now, <laughs> the now. doomsday bunker. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I need that now. You trying to go underground or outer space? Which one? Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know about all that space. I don't know about. First of all, how you gonna get me up there? Let's talk about that. Yeah, that's, that's the thing that we get. Me. Mm-mm. There are people who don't even believe space is a real thing, but that's another story. It's a lot going on. I I go underground. For now. Yeah, same. I'm down for the underground. You Bunker. know, we gotta make some folks who know how to do AC and things of that nature, so we're not, you know, exactly. Need yeah, figure out how to watch on. Um, what you call that shit? The Walking Dead type shit. Oh my gosh! Type of around me, <laughs> I watched that when it first came shit. out. Oh yes, mm-hmm. I was actually just talking about getting guns earlier. Me and what you call it, Whitney, we were talking about like buying guns and which kind of gun we getting and this that next. And I was like, why are we having this conversation via text? I was like, you know what? We yeah, both yeah, are bro. okay. <laughs> we are we are certified uh, licensed concealed weapon carriers, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> they they can check the timestamp on that shit, but uh yes, a bunker. What would you want in your bunker? Like, what are what are necessities that you would need other than food, of course, and water and things of that nature? Um, I need an old radio. Mm. Um, yes. some form of like SOS kind of something. I need some kind of. Just in case anything happens, whatever, mm-hmm. that I'm able to still contact if I need help for something. I mean, but okay. I need books. When you say oh, old radio, you mean like telecommunication type of yes. radio? Okay, yes. I'm, I was thinking and just, and music. Like antenna type. Okay. Okay. E- stick that bitch up <laughs> above ground to hear what the hell yeah. going on type shit. Old radio, books. Mm-hmm. I need a compass. I need a whole bunch of old shit, though, I'm sure. Cause Have a, you like, watched... Stranger Things? I don't watch that. No, 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 because you just mentioned a compass, and there's something funny that happens with compasses in Stranger Things. I don't, it's it's Um, too, it's too strange. (laughs) <laughs> yeah it does thing. yeah That's i'm like caught up i've watched all of it and i didn't even realize that it was filmed here in georgia mm, i love that like movie. i like that people like it because a lot of people are into the mm-hmm. whole thing it's just not for me see i jumped in i said i jumped in late so like i jumped in at an interesting part that it wasn't that strange and then mm-hmm. it got strange so i was like wait mm-hmm. i want to know what's happening now so i went back and watched mm-hmm. it from the beginning but mm-hmm. um Mm-mm. Yeah, unless there's some like you know supernatural shit happening, the compass should be fine. <laughs> right, but for the most part, I kind of know how to travel by light and like stuff because I'm a nerd. But mm-hmm. um, yes, yeah, definitely a compass because I feel like that's something you should have. Mm-hmm. There is what is it? You know those um what is it? Is it carabiner? No, like the you know those braided bracelets and stuff that they be having. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. of them come with compasses on them and they have like little like knives and all types of crap in them if you get like the souped up ones or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Compass, what else? Radio, books. That sounds about that sounds about right. Like, cause yeah. you're really trying to just see what the fuck going on. I was thinking like I need like a shit ton of crossword puzzles. <laughs> no, no, those for sure. Word searching <laughs> and whatever else. Yeah. A deck of cards and all that. I need a million of those. Yes. Books. I need my music. Mm-hmm. I need my vinyl down there. My vinyl player mm-hmm. and my vinyls for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see. I think. Yeah. I mean. I think that point you're not so worried. If you get to that point that you need a bunker, you're not so worried about. Oh, I need a TV and I need yeah. this and I needed mm-hmm. that. You're really thinking about necessities. Yeah. And shit that you want, bitch. Uh. I'd be like, oh, I need my TV. I need my fire stick. <laughs> mm. I mean, one will do it. I'll need yeah. one. Just so one, because I can stay up on the news and what the fuck going yeah. on above ground. But let's be honest. I'm not going to waste all that time. Or I need or a video game or something. Something. Yeah. But nothing to... <laughs> you hear me. I said, I need a deck of cards. <laughs> also, some domino. I need board yes. games. Mm-hmm. Definitely on heavy on the board games. Yes, definitely. Um, 
Yeah, I can't think of anything else that would be. That sounds just about right for me, because... Yeah. Some Uno. Yeah. Some guns. Yeah. A lot of ammo. Some swords. Every damn thing. <laughs> some what swords. You do? Some bulletproof this, Couple bulletproof cutlass. that. <laughs> cutlass, like, listen, a little bit of this. <laughs> okay, so that sounds about right. Um, I don't even know how we got there, but... <laughs> Um, for those who don't know, there's a full moon tomorrow. I have to notify it's a big those. One, right? I feel like all of them supposedly are big ones. They all have fucking names now, and I'm just like, like some super sun, something, some shit. Let me, super let me look at the thing. Moon. I don't know. Um, well, it's in Capricorn, so uh, go people. <laughs> big up the caps. Child, I guess. Let me see. What does it say? It's supposed to be. What is this? It's a buck moon. Right. I don't know. But I think that's what I saw. And I was like, uh. Yeah. It's supposed to hit at 2.37 p.m. is when it's officially full Eastern Standard Time. If you're in our area, the time varies based on where you are, in case y'all didn't know. Right. Um, right. And usually the day before, the day after, great time to set out your crystals for tr- recharging. Yay. Remember that? <laughs> Shoot that text for me. No, I, I got you. I got you. You can put them out now, shit. But because it, it's not full till midday tomorrow. So tomorrow into tomorrow night. Gotcha. Um, yeah. What else is on this here list? Oh, I didn't <laughs> not a at, damn thing. There's, oh, what I was talking to you about earlier. Um, the LGBT child thingy. Um, where's some Sam? Oh, yeah, the thing in Florida. Yeah. Florida, listen. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but like, no, like they're really playing red right now. Like it like is definitely showing out of there when you needed their to? yes, like they are showing their whole red ass right now. Like what? Yeah. So um, there's this um, post I saw that said that Leon Lee. Oh Jesus, why? <laughs> Leon mm. County School Board approves LGBTQ guide after fierce debate. So the debate was basically about um outing children. <laughs> um they voted that if an LGBTQ child is in a PE class or attending an overnight trip that all the parents in their class will receive notification about it, which essentially paints these children as sex offenders that require warnings. That's just how it sounds to me. My like, thing is, all right, let me just let me see if I can really dig this down. So, mm-hmm. say my son is gay, right? Mm-hmm. And he's in the gym class. Mm-hmm. If somebody else's child is in that gym class with my gay son, they get a text message that my son is gay? Yes. <laughs> or if they're doing like an overnight field trip or anything like that, then yes, they're getting an update to all the parents. So that... gym class? And yeah, I guess. Field, and then overnight field trips? That's yep. kind of either or or both. I guess gym I class, guess they'd though? be bathing in gym, I guess. So because they have to bathe or some shit. Cause some kids bathe. Y'all can talk shit gym. about me, cause I ne- listen. I never took a shower in no gym locker room shower. Me in school. either. <laughs> but I also elected to do PE over the summer before high school started, cause I wasn't trying to be funky during school or be bathing with none of y'all. Oh no, so. I was just never fun. Listen, yeah. I would get myself together. It was like great <laughs> mini hole bath before I get back to class, but I was not showering with y'all bitches. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, I was just no, worried no. about I that whole thing. Mind. Sorry, I was not trying to be in the shower with these funk. Ew, in the showers, the school showers. Yes, ew, who was cleaning that bathroom? Not that, that girl. Just... Listen, I, w- I would have my little rag. Mom used to give me my, my little rag or whatever. I used to wipe up, <laughs> keep it cute, put on, gotta go. No. With a little whole bath, little chip bath, arm, yeah, arm, that's just under that's titties and, and bit, crutches. Like me. I never tried to sweat like that in gym class, no way. That's exactly also why I chose to do that shit during the summer before school started because... I was slim, but I was not trying to do none of them exercises. Y'all got me fucked up. Who is running? To- no, no. I'm doing that testing shit. You had to run a mile and how yeah, long no, and, and do how not. many push ups. And say, like, what? Fail. To this day, I have never done 10 push ups. Okay. So I can well, kiss no, my I, ass. I, no, not in, not in this body. Not with this body. I can do 10 push ups. Not right now. Never. Y'all, we back to dumpling status again. I can't do. <laughs> Never have I ever. <laughs> me and push-ups are not happening. Give me some leg exercises all day, every day. I got you. Me and my upper body strength, we got we got a love hate Listen, relationship. My favorite part was gym when they let us have like the weightlifting as like an elective or whatever. I you love to- lifting weights. <laughs> I do. Listen, and it had like the leg, and I could do. Ooh, 
because you know the leg <laughs> weights on that. Yeah, like yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not. I wasn't with that shit. But yeah, so that's essentially what they voted to do. Um, and this is okay. So this is going to have more people in the closet. So basically, you're trying to. Because that's all I'm getting from this is like you're trying to out these kids who aren't even really sure of who they are sometimes. Sometimes it's they're going through their phases, they're growing, mm-hmm. puberty, all these things, questioning things. Questioning, yes. And if they, girl, if they're wow. openly out about it, basically. So if a student who is open it's about their gender identity the day is what I see it as, because yep. no one is going to want to have to tell you their child is gay. So you could be sending a text to all these parents saying that my child is gay. It's going to have people like these kids being like, nah, I ain't nothing. Let me not say anything. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't want everybody looking at me like, oh, the gay kids in this class. Exactly. That's trash is- and oh then also you don't know how people are going to respond to that because there are a lot of homophobic people in this world. I don't care how open y'all think people are. There's some closet homophobes and there's some outright ignorant homophobic people out there. You don't know what these people are teaching their children or what they're going to say to their children regarding this person. And like, I feel like if anything, if they're going to do it, it should be like a blanket thing and it shouldn't identify the person who it is. They should be like, hey, just let it. But even still, no. They shouldn't be doing it at all. They like I'm trying to think of it like how it makes sense. Like what purpose does it serve? Like no, this is not the, what this this shouldn't be a thing at all. Why are you worried if the boy, the little boy, is gay in your in your daughter's class or son's class, or if the girls are lesbian or they're like trans or they're just you know they're trying to see mm-hmm. who they are? You got these fucking people going to these schools, shooting up everybody, killing all these kids, and you worried about if this person is gay in gym class? Thank you. Thank I hate you. This place. How are you? Thank you. What, what the fuck that got to do with you? Thank you. Look to me be on Facebook talking about all these guns and shit and this fuck niggers and this, that, and the next, and I'm going to shoot and kill this, this, and the next. Coming to school looking like fucking they... Witch hunt, though. It's a witch hunt. <laughs> and y'all worried about that. That's what y'all want to notify people's parents about. Not about, you know, somebody who's Facebook that all y'all have access to because... Facebook isn't as shut down as it used to be. I'm going to cut you a grade. It doesn't say. It just says Leon County Public School. So if y'all in Leon County, shout out to y'all. It just says the school board. It doesn't. What the? It doesn't show uh, what you call it. I don't get it. I don't get it. You got all this shit going on. These people that be shooting up. PE is middle and high school. So it's probably between the two of them. Do they have? They don't have PE in elementary. It's Gonna just have like these kids like, no, I ain't nothing. I'm not gay. I'm not nothing. Nothing. Because you basically trying to put a target on their head. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the next one That's in crazy. Florida, in Orange County, Florida, LGBT teachers are being told to take down photos of their same-sex spouse in their classrooms and not to talk about them to students following the "Don't Say Gay" law taking effect. All rainbow articles of clothing are being banned, and teachers are also now required to report to parents if a student says they are not straight. This is in Orange County, Florida. Oh, Florida up right now, huh? Yeah, Florida. That's what I'm saying. Florida, oh, some wow. fuck shit. Wow, like wow, wow. So what is a witch hunt? Okay. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. So if you're a lesbian or gay teacher, mm-hmm. You gotta take down your um, so you pictures. You take down your s- pictures. You can't like you got a little rainbow bracelet. You can't wear your rainbow bracelet because you happy mm-hmm. to be gay. No. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm. Yep. Wow. This is what we're worried about. But it's interesting to me because this there's a don't say gay law taking effect, but you're gonna out kids to their parents. This I is don't... what we're doing. Y'all kids can't fucking read. Can't do no math. Can't huh. do shit. And we're worried about my rainbow bracelet and my partner. Speaking of these kids that can't fucking read and write, you should Dumbass. see these messages that my job is getting on Facebook because I manage their Facebook um, messages now because we've been running ads. These mm-hmm. kids need to go back to school. They really need to go back to school. I know they're like trying to joke or whatever, but you can't form a proper sentence, baby. What are you doing? Y'all worried about the sexuality of these children and gender identity and everything but what y'all are getting paid to do. Y'all can't even keep these motherfuckers safe. Y'all not even paying attention to fucking erratic behaviors or inconsistencies or kids that are going through depression, like between suicide and school shootings and bullying. Vibes, child. It's giving very much pre Holocaust vibes to me. 
Hmm. It's just I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like I come here every day to teach your badass children and you worried about my rainbow bracelet? Okay, tell them that imagine. you should fuck yourself. <laughs> and I'm out. Tell them that you imagine. come teach them then. With your dumb ass. You just as stupid. Like, and oh. you know they can't because after the pandemic started and niggas had to teach their kids at home, everybody was ready to send yeah, their children back to yeah, school. And you st- but how you... Florida, right? Yep. Both oh. of them are in Florida. Orange County and Leon County. It's Those sound like Opa Bush, though. That's right. Not, yeah, but still, but still, it's enough. But you know how Florida be sometimes. Mm-hmm. It takes one thing and it starts to spread like wildfire. Like, I... nasty work. I remember gay teachers that I had growing up. Same. And they were like the best fucking teachers. Like, yeah. I don't know about best teachers. They were teachers. I don't know. But not even like best, but I'm saying like, <laughs> they as, were teachers. not as far as teachers, but I'm saying like, as far as like communicating and making sure kids yeah. are doing what they're supposed my to be doing is, and shit I like that. I don't give a damn if my teacher is gay, straight, are we over getting the, the rainbow, education? under the rainbow. I don't give a damn. Like, who cares? Teach what you got. I hate, I just hate society. I just hate it. Everything is about like, what are you and whatever. Does mm-hmm. it have anything to do with anything that we're doing? This is a math class. Shouldn't we be learning math? Why are we focused <laughs> on what I'm doing at home? Seriously. Do we know about Pythagorean theorem? Like, Girl, we're, we're sitting here talking about... <laughs> Girl, stop. <laughs> we sit here talking about what you do in your bedroom, what you your spouse when you go I, home. Sometimes I get to this point where it's just like, you'll see that we've made progress, you know, like that, you mm-hmm. know, the gay community and all of that and everybody under the rainbow and all that shit. But then sometimes it's just like, oh my gosh, yep. I'm really stuck on a planet with these people. Yep. It's like you take one step forward and five steps and back. Like a million back. Why does it bother you so much that somebody is living their life and doing what they want as a grown ass person? I don't get it. I don't get it. Two consenting adults. I don't have time for it. I don't. Listen. Like, I come here to I work and you police in my don't clothes. Bother me. I don't give a fuck what you fucking and sucking on, so you don't need to give a fuck what the fuck I'm doing. Period. Respect go both ways. You don't say nothing about my shit. I ain't got nothing to say about your shit. I don't care. Exactly, because at the end of the day, what I do in my bedroom, if it's not making you come, don't worry about it. That's all it is. But they are so concerned, like... And that always be the first thing. Oh, like the sex part. Like, oh, speaking of that, that that could be the thing. You don't watch it though. You don't watch P Valley. Oh, I've been hearing things about this because apparently, you know, a good old ignorant Negroes was talking about yeah, it's too much and whatever. An actor and he plays like DL in a sense okay. in the show, right? Okay. Yeah, you gotta call Dio because he ain't really out like that. It's like secret, but he. Okay, is he in the closet or is he on the down low? Because that's two different things. Ah, no, girl, that's Dio. Oh, so he has a woman in real life, quote unquote. He act like he like women. Obviously, okay. he a rapper okay. too, and oh. all of that. He acts mm-hmm. like and he puts that front that you know he's into women and stuff, but he like niggas. All okay. Right. In real life, married kids. Oh, right. So. You know, the people that got an issue with it. And, you know, in one of the episodes, he was doing a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, you know, I had a nigga bent over, blah, 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 blah. Boy. Yes. And the people had an issue with it. Oh, ain't no way he's straight. Da, 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 da. His wife, da, 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 da. Oh, in real know life? What the actor is. Oh, they're talking about him in real life? Like, they're saying that the actor in real life, like, in... Today's yes. society, they yes. say, ain't no way he's the fact that he's really playing, he's doing gay roles. I wonder how much money this man is making to pretend he's gay for pay because y'all are out here worried about that. Oh, but but there's people out here. Soul. They said he's selling his soul. He could. He's like, first of all, first of all, he got guns in the show. He a whole gangster in the show. But we draw the line at the gay part. You know that. You know that. We draw the line at the gay part. You know part, that. So. You could be pimping. You could be home. robbing. You could be killing kids. You could be raping. You can be shooting up the hole, everything. But the minute you are gay, oh, you are an abomination under the Lord. That's what I'm like, saying. All these people that play rapists and, and all yeah. type of nasty yes, characters. pedophiles. But this is what you worried about? Pedophiles, alcoholics, Listen, coveting neighbors' wife wives. Ain't worried. That man wife ain't worried, then neither should you. Them bills are getting paid, baby. This is all I'm saying. 
But they ignorant as hell because there was an on the same episode there was a sex scene between two women. Oh, and you Jesus. ain't really hear nothing about that, of course. But his, I surely didn't because I'm guessing that's why everybody's been going crazy with that skit, the Janet Jackson skit in um, you doing the bending? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's probably why, because that just recently started like popping up all over my timeline. I'm like, like between the yeah, one I posted on my bending. story <laughs> to like something else, and, like, and I'm just like, yeah, y'all are wild. And my thing is, he's not even when he's whatever with the guys and whatever he's doing, he's bending them over. It's not even like he taking it or anything like that. So it's like, y'all still got an issue. The man is acting, they, but you I'm call sorry. an actor. I'm sorry. Do they realize that this is a series, like a TV series and not porn? Like this is, there's, I just want to know. Cause why. in porn, they're actually having the sex. Like he is acting like they're having sex. Like I'm pretty sure but I he guess is the not. Is you can actually check it click if that's the porn that you want to watch i guess if you're trying to watch p valley and it kind of pops up you're kind of thrown off guard but i mean really because my thing is the show is p valley it's pussy valley it's about strippers 95 percent of the show is breasts and titties oh and you're focused on the five little minutes of the gays something the call is coming from inside the house i was gonna say that it's tickling them a little bit too much yes the call is coming from in that those five minutes legit five minutes are what got you tickled there has been titties <laughs> strippers ass everything nipples everything out this show is really raw like that and everything is out and you are bothered over this man with another man just blink real quick by the time you <laughs> blink it's off the screen so you're saying i need to go watch p valley is what you're saying i've been saying that <laughs> now i've been saying yeah p valley is cool it's just yeah that is but any um what no straight niggas should be watching p valley yes i saw that i saw that they were like if you can watch that without looking away something's wrong with you and i was like if you feel like you have to look away something is wrong with you baby i don't even know the context and i feel like if you're uncomfortable watching that you're probably uncomfortable because it's making you feel some type of way and you're probably aroused and you're not comfortable with the fact that they don't know how to feel about it baby it's okay it's erotic it's sex it's okay for you to like it. Like, Calm down. Listen, I am a lesbian. However, yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. speak about it. <laughs> listen, I'm a lesbian, but me and the, the gay sex thing. Yes. It's a yes for me personally. I forgot I like who I was telling your business. You know, I like to see the quink. You know, I like to see the tinks. And stuff. What are they? The twink? Twink? Yes. Twink. Yes. Like the twinks and whatnot. I forgot who I was telling that you like you watching tell- gay mm-hmm. porn. Yes, Ooh, I was telling somebody school. your business. I think probably probably was mm-hmm. Shanae. Mm-hmm. But I was like, she likes like gay porn. Like, because we we're talking about what kind of porn we like. And I was I like, know. I like porn where women are being pleased. Like, I like to see women enjoying boring, themselves boring, however boring. it don't matter who is doing it it's just as long as a woman is being pleased i don't care nothing for hearing no man moaning and groaning i don't want to hear none of that but the woman's having all the fun that's what i need to hear but <laughs> they were like what she's like oh okay and i was like now there's some people who like different shit and i was telling her like you like to see them twinks getting bent up and listen and they be having up- some big niggas and some ten. <laughs> boom 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 listen Okay, I'm all the way for it. Booty hole busted, baby. Oh my god, <laughs> busting. Yeah, that's my shit. I like that. Don't I don't want no lesbian porn. Please do not disappoint me. I don't like, like watching lesbian porn that is like script. I don't like any scripted porn. I don't want but most any of lesbian them... porn at all because it's all retarded. It's all stupid. Oh, and people, I don't like. I'm good. I'd rather watch myself have sex. I'm okay. I mean, there's that too. I'd rather watch myself have sex. Let me say, it's not. It's not. I'm never thrilled. I'm never surprised. I'm never turned on. It doesn't do nothing for me. I'm never happy about it. It's. It looked dry. No. The <laughs> yeah, the got dry. Me they got me for life. They got me for show. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard to fake that because a lot of them, obviously, it's acting. So it just be like. I could tell you're faking it. I don't want to hear this fake thing. Oh God, just yeah, say, no. they drive me crazy and all the noise for like no reason. Oh Shut my up, gosh, girl. I just hate it. <laughs> like ain't nothing going on. Like I'm looking just right at this video. High pitch shit. Shut up, girl. Like mm, I hate it. Mm, <laughs> mm, like girl, shut up. <laughs> like girl, what? what? Nah. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh you my know gosh! Exactly what I'm about. Mm, yeah, no. 
Oh, yes. Ew, and the, oh my god, I hate the porn voice. Oh my god, I hate that shit so much. Like yeah. That yes, one. yes. I hate. <laughs> no, thank that should have made me just dry up and be like, let me turn this shit off. Exactly Fuck this. my point. Absolutely like I really not. tried. Like I'll see it. I'll be like, oh Ebony, Ebony. Yes. Okay. So we'll get Ebony. to Ebony and they disappoint me as well. It's so I get yeah. to my Ebony gaze. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. <laughs> It'd be like the frat niggas. It'd be like 10 of them in one room. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> they out here doing gangbangs and shit. Listen. It'd be all. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. But anyways. Mm-hmm. Yes. For those of y'all who are uncomfortable, maybe y'all need to look within yourselves and Facts. see what it is that is troubling you about, you know, the homosexual activities. It's okay if you don't want to admit it to anyone. Just admit it to yourself and stop projecting because the rest of us can kind of see it. Okay? Okay. And I really hate the, man, everything you watch now, there's all some gay shit in it. Oh, my God. I hate that fucking conversation. Well, wouldn't you know it? There's gay people on this earth that exist. (laughs) All over. Six degrees of separation. Okay? I think we want to see straight people all the time and everything. All the time, right? And I will never stop saying... Niggas saw straight people growing up and And still still ended up gay. So obviously TV's not influencing y'all the way that y'all want us to believe it is. Exactly. Because niggas was playing shooting games and that's not the reason people are shooting kids. It's because they're fucking fucked up. I've been playing GTA before I should have been playing anything like that. Anything like that. And I've been seeing, listen, I was how old in GTA picking up the prostitutes in the car? And shit like oh, that. Oh, yes. Yes. Like, kicking on. them out the car, picking them up, doing all types exactly. of shit. Doing whatever, killing them, please. Yeah. I'm so, I'm, yeah, yeah GTA been out since. Psh. If it's straight and inappropriate, it's fine. Because it's still straight. Oh, you know child. And appropriate includes violence against women, violence in general. Everything, rape, um, sex, everything. Oh, yeah. You know. Everything. All they types of they, shit. They have their kids sitting down watching these movies. Mm-hmm. You have they they had their kids watching Power and all these different types. Oh of yes. Things, oh no okay. no no no. Power got too gay also because you know they started doing gay shit on Power. But before that, you know, with the whoop that trick on hustling flow scenes and all types of shit, that was okay. Prostituting you and know what funny funny shit. I've never seen that movie. Well, Hustle and Flow. Never. It's no offense to Bay. It's not that great. I guess um, cool. But it, I've mm. never seen it. Like I know, like the the song, the uh, uh, mm-hmm. you know, that, with that trick foolishness, and I know like the sayings and stuff. But I've never seen the movie. I don't know. Yeah, it just didn't call me. I didn't. <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah, it's you're not really missing anything. So I <laughs> how much years no? Yeah, that shit old. That's Taraji's in it, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. On Terrence. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Just like the beginning of freaking um what's the name of the show that they were on together? No, that wasn't power. I'm mixing the shows up. What's the name of the show that he's on? Empire. Empire. That's what I was mixing it up with. Is there gay shit happening on power? There's no gay shit on power, right? Yes, there is. Oh, there is? Oh shit. See? Well, damn. Yes, there <laughs> is on power. Definitely. I don't watch that either. I started watching Empire way back in the day. That's Definitely what I was referring gay stuff to. On power. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Man, I'ma say this though. Like to anybody that's like under the rainbow, consider yourself something other than like just I don't know. Cis- it's gender here. heterosexual. Be proud. Be proud of yourself and what you got going on and don't let nobody make you feel bad about what your life choices are and who you choose to love and who you choose to be and how you choose to present yourself and all that shit. As long as you ain't hurting nobody, harming nobody, no bullshit like that, fucking with nobody, do what you gotta do. But just keep your head on swivel. Because yeah. there's people out here who really don't fuck with you just for being yourself. So Pretty period. Like seriously, that's literally it. Yeah, I'm about sick of these motherfuckers, man. <laughs> you ain't the only shit one. Shit. Niggas can't just go to school. Nigga, y'all supposed to be worried about how we get more security in this bitch. And you over here talking about texting. You gonna text this mom because your my son might be gay in your class. I'm cool. My mama will probably raise hell. You did what now? You text who about who? Mommy be like, oh, I want this now. <laughs> Mommy be like, so what I'm gonna feel about it now. <laughs> So then my gay and then what no. <laughs> then my gay. <laughs> then, my, then my gay and then what? You know how to make it back. Yeah. Gay, then my gay. <laughs> yeah. The daddy. No, no offense. Daddy be like, oh. Then said, that's what about him and my side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. 
Yo, <laughs> daddy would be like, but you buy the night class, man. I'm going to know what they want me to do. <laughs> Yo. Dead ass, though. <laughs> I'm mad. I can dead hear your dad that saying that. What am I doing with this? What am I telling me that for? No batty man. No batty man. He'd probably be like, well, you know, if I saw them one carry on, yeah, then, you know. Like, well, so what am I feeling about that? No, <laughs> no honestly. <laughs> like, okay, and then what? Like, I would text. If, I'm trying to think if I was a parent right now mm-hmm. and they try to send me a text like that. I'd be like, don't text me nothing. I literally would probably look at the phone and be like, um, Okay. Do we, like, are we buying text the, me this? Are we buying them rainbow, rainbow stuff? Like, Honestly, why are you telling I'll me this? Like, tell the child congrats and don't text me no more. Don't like, take me off the text list. Unsubscribe. I'm sending my child to school with rainbow things for this child. Girl, like ro- because, rainbow cupcakes or something or ribbons, yes, some shit. Some sprinkles I, and shit. Like, it's too much. What is the point? Why are you telling me this? Like, it's not my business. It's a shame thing, bro. Yes, it's that's exactly thing. what it it's is. A shame thing. Yes, but yeah, they trying to shame people back into closets and not mm-hmm. being self and hiding they self. But y'all done got the game. I'm trying up. to, I'm trying to figure out if like they think being gay is like a new thing. Like they think people just started. No, being... it's just it's it's just we too hot. Yeah, oh, we spread him. We too hot. Like we those in everything. Dancers. Yeah, we're in mm. everything. We're on the TV. We're here. Mm-hmm. We're this. We're that. The parades. The this. We're just taking over. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Not how we take it over. Not the way that y'all motherfuckers having babies. We ain't taking huh. over. What the fuck are you talking about? What That's are we probably... really stopping? I don't understand. That's why they're trying to ban abortions. <laughs> but why are we? What are we? What have we stopped? What are we stopping? Gay people have always been around. That has always. not stopped anything. Y'all talking about oh they have them out here for population? Are you kidding? Gay people want to have babies too. Did y'all forget this that? Is what I'm saying. There's all, a whole bunch of sperms in the banks, a whole bunch of surrogates lining up to get impregnated to carry these babies for the boys and the girls trying to get the sperm. And then we're taking over everything. Whatever. I just, you know, I wish. How you, I just, I don't know. I just don't, I never understood how you don't expect to watch TV. You don't expect to see a gay person in a show. As if gay people don't exist in this world and don't need representation. Mm. Okay. But when y'all black asses was just watching white people and wanted y'all black asses on the TV... Can we talk about it? <laughs> Can no. we talk about it? No. <laughs> it's basic common sense. It's the same you know, exact shit. It's the, the gay same agenda thing. Is to break down. Apparently, the, the agenda household. Oh my gosh! To get rid of the that. man. Mm-hmm. Like they can't do it by themselves. Like they're not already doing it by themselves. Doing it by themselves. Really? Niggas got fifteen fucking different households with children that ain't got no daddy around. But you oh, gay, and that's also, the problem. Speaking of. <laughs> They're talking about um, Nate Cannon, how he is like the leader of broken homes because he got how many baby mothers at this point now? He got like and, yeah, a lot. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's like, okay, so y'all ain't got no problem with him going around impregnating everybody no, and having children all oh, over. Yeah, that man being because, fruitful. oh yeah, because he can financially support them, but um, broken homes. No, yeah. No, no. Skip all of that. The Bible said be fruitful. Yeah, that's that's Above exactly all. what that's it how is. they see it. They don't see nothing else. Oh yes. <laughs> I hate be this fruitful. Place. I hate this place. This man can sit here and have fifty eleven kids. Oh, he being fruitful like the Bible. Literally. Says. Literally. There's a um I think I have mentioned it to you um before. The series on Netflix that's what is it? Keep sweet and some shit. Keep sweet and pray or something like that. It's about basically like a Mormon cult or whatever. Um and well, no, there are, what is it? Seven Day Advent? Seven? Church of the Latter Day Saints, I think it is. One of them. Mm. But the guys, like, you know, they appoint who gets married to who or whatever. They marry all three of them 12 year old picnics, a big hostier in mind. Yeah, yeah, that's all type or whatever. But then the head of the church, the prophet, quote unquote, was out here like, if basically he felt threatened by the man or by anybody in the family, he would kick out whoever it is like out of the community completely. So let's say y'all live in freaking Decatur, right? Decatur is the city that everybody is in. It's a wall around it. There's a gate, there's armed guards, whatever, whatever. If you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're kicked out of Decatur. Okay. And then um, after that, it's like, okay, so now you're gone. So your wife or your wives, 
and those children are now appointed to a new husband and father. Yeah. Yeah. And then they change the last name and everything. So that's how they one of the, Yeah, they yes. kind of cult type. Mm-hmm. One of the guys was saying that the whole point was, you know, to have as many children as you can, basically, because the more children you have, the higher you are in the hierarchy of like basically the prophet because you have more daughters to give. They swear. To, and I was like, they what? Swear. And the more wives you have, the closer so, you are to so God. More men with more control. Got it. Yeah. All it comes back down to is men having control, as mm-hmm. usual. Yes. So, mm-hmm. child, anybody got about men and their control, bro. I can't. <laughs> Those poor, fragile egos. Mm. Disgusting, yo. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I don't know. It's gross. <laughs> Anyways, um, my birthday's coming up, so um, that's all that matters. You sent me something. That's what you're trying to do, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Well, I'm iffy about it. It's something to do because it don't look like we going to Miami no more. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I ain't hear nothing about that. Exactly. I I inquired about it, and the people them said probably not. So I was like, mm, okay. okay. But um. I was like, that's something to do. The whole crew can roll out, you know, and it's a cooler thing if you choose to bring a cooler. So that seemed like vibes, though. Exactly. I was like, was y'all niggas like Afrobeat. It's a Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Friday. The- yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Afrobeat um, thing. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I know you. See, everybody that I informed about it likes Afrobeat. I'm the only one that's like Afrobeat's cool. <laughs> so. Afrobeat's cool. <sighs> I don't hate it. Who you informed? Um, twin and the twins and people. I wait. In. <laughs> Leave me alone. You know who I invited. Stop You're it. You went under the sea for this one. Anyways, we can discuss this off air. Oh, okay. Because um, oh, okay. <laughs> we're still recording. But I'm sure they can read between the lines because they've been listening if they've been listening. But um, <clears throat> but yes, I was thinking about like doing like a code for um the website because I'm realizing that I've been making all these ashtrays and I haven't been putting shit on the website. So um, ah. for those of you who are listening, um, I'm about to make this code live by the time the shit drops. If you type in happy birthday, y'all gonna save some money on y'all next purchase on the website. So do that, do that, do there's that. There's that. So wish me happy birthday, save some money and. And that's it. It's literally gonna be happy birthday. I'm a, Your birthday really in ten days, bro. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. I'm excited. Stop. <laughs> really Girl, excited about that. And my birthday coming, I'm like, yeah, not really. I'm just like, yes. yeah. Your birthday's like a week after mine, two weeks after yes. mine. Like, period. And we're gonna be in the best place to be. But I'm still like, period. yeah. I don't know. Girl, I think I don't know. I think I'm beat. I think my brother might be coming too, because he was asking me about tickets, and I was like, "Irks, let me find out. If you slide and let me know, <laughs> carry me on some fuck Rian, so I keep." Oh, you're in Yes, come true. Cause he told us he was trying to buy a ticket for me and mommy to go to Jamaica. I said, "Makuya, you have money. Beg you look a bit, cause <laughs> time's hard." Okay, <laughs> but my Listen. mom apparently is trying to go in October, so. Mm. Mm. But we shall see about whether or not he decides to park his ass because I'm going regardless, guys. October when? I don't know when in October. May I try to know why I keep in October? Oh, it's cooler in October, I yes, guess. Well, we whatever. do know that. Yeah. But I'm thinking about Miami Carnival. Ticket buy for SSS already. So mm. I don't know when in October she go. So. Yo, I'm really turning into a grown ass man. Like my chin hairs is coming in. Oh, my and goodness. This shit is crazy. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me, my bad. Y'all should see this nigga over here legit rubbing on her chin. Like, my but... nigga, like, it's a legit <laughs> strong chin hair. Like, it's... You got one chin hair coming in? Nah, not one. Like, I have, like, a, like four of them. Four? Yeah, it's nice. You be playing with them? Like, I do, yeah. Caressing and make sure yeah, that they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you mean? I got some vitamin E oil that I made, you know, with some... What you call it? It helps with hair growth if you need to, no, you know, not, help. Okay. I'm just letting you know. It done oh. helped me um grow some underlashes a little bit. So underlashes? Yeah, you know, like the instead People of like regular try to grow eyelash, underlashes. I do because I can't put mascara on the bottom part because ain't nothing there to mascara. I just put on eyeliner. Bitch, but wait a minute. What 
show me, point to the under lashes like down here People right down to against that? yes i'm pretty sure you have some too but it's not but i don't care about it but i'm well, saying you don't care about shit like that but wait no i just didn't realize wait. <laughs> this is like parts of money that i don't like oh my gosh yeah you don't you definitely don't i'm like what the fuck underlashes look okay, in the mirror and, and see mascara, you can put it right? on the top and on the bottom but i don't have nothing on the bottom wow. so i you know wow. make sure i emphasize on that area when oh, i put it on wow. however my top lashes have gotten fuller you know because you learn something new every my day sir. i have never heard of <laughs> i don't know if that's the actual name for it i no, just I call them under lashes <laughs> like try to grow it so it's like even, it's not that yeah so it's full so that it accentuates your eyes the top, obviously I don't, but there's some people who have like scary. a lot. Like, yeah, if it's like a lot like that, that's glass, a lot. Like, but you should see people put on lashes and stuff, and then they they like highlight it a lot, like to make sure oh, that it's wow. like yeah, because wow. it makes your eyes pop more. I have you seen my eyes? Do they look like they need to pop? I almost oh, called sure. out your whole name just now on these people so podcasts. These eyes know? pop on their <laughs> own. No, I was referring more to like the color of your eye. Oh, okay, you know, you. like. <laughs> you Aggie. Yeah, I know my eyes big, so I don't know why she playing. <laughs> but yes. Um, so I'm excited about that. And that's all I got for y'all. Um, you have nothing else for the people then? Nah, 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 nah. We good, man. Just be safe, you know. Same motion. For shit. sure. Be safe. Love one another, all that good shit. Um, make sure y'all follow us on all the internets and things you know the platforms the social medias um check us out on all the streaming platforms the youtubes and such um tell a friend to tell a friend and just like every other week every other episode everything else we do over here at pointless talks whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you so so much for listening to this episode of pointless talks bye you're not saying bye Oh, bye. Oh, I was throwing up peace. Bye, <laughs> like y'all. they can see you. <laughs> bye, y'all. <laughs>